Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Chris, Why Would You Eat That? Today, it's our Halloween tradition where I'm eating a kiss, a Halloween kiss. I've been eating a Halloween kiss for the last several years uh, on this, on this uh, show, uh, Chris, Why Would You Eat That? And that's because several years ago, uh, and you can, you can look back, I'll, I'll have links below to the first episode of this, uh, but I, I wanted to do a review of Halloween kisses and uh, it was a few years ago and I got them, I got a bag of them and they were soft, chewy and very pleasant to eat. And I, that is not the memory I had as a kid of these treats. And so my belief was that in fact, Halloween kisses were stale and they'd go stale, whether, whether they just stopped making them and they would be like years old that you'd get them or you know, for whatever reason, I wanted to test sort of, I wanted to know, like I thought, oh, okay, maybe the ones I got weren't stale and normally the ones I got as a kid were stale. And so I was kind of confused because I thought maybe most of the time you get them they're stale and this was like a rare package. So what I decided to do was I saved a bunch of my Halloween kisses from that initial bag. And every year I eat a Halloween kiss on Halloween for an episode of Chris, why would you eat that? So this is this year, I believe this is year three or four. I'm not too sure. I'll put a number up here and let you know. But here it is once again, this is several years old now, Halloween kiss. So I'll tell you now while I've been talking, I'm, it's still squishy. So I don't know, I'm kinda very sticky. Fairly sticky. Let's see how this goes. Here's the weird thing. It's still just as chewy, very, very chewy. Maybe not as chewy, maybe it's getting a little harder, but like almost imperceptibly. But it's starting to taste a little funny. Like it doesn't have that strong molasses. It's a little more musty flavored. I still have like 10 more years of these to go. I'm getting a little concerned. I, I will I will put a disclaimer. I imagine that the makers of these uh, Halloween kisses do not intend for you to eat them years after you purchase them. So don't take my idea of doing this as saying that, you know, this is what it's intended. I think my theory about, you know, they're actually the ones that we got as kids were years old and they just they made them once and then just sold them for years and years. I'm starting to doubt that theory because the ones we have are really hard unless I have like 10 years to go until they get really hard. But this one's soft, but it's starting to taste funny. So, thanks for watching another episode of Chris, Why Would You Eat That? As always, you can follow me on Candy Critic, uh, uh, on Twitter, at Candy Critic, or you can go to candycritic.org and find links to a bunch of other social media. Uh, whatever's new, whatever's out there, that'll be in the links. You can probably find it there and follow me and see what I'm up to on a daily basis. Uh, you can also pick up my two books, uh, snack facts and treats and beasts. You can pick those up at uh, candycritic.org as well. Um, and there, one's a book about uh, the history and the past of of, uh, of of snacks and treats. The other one is a alphabet book uh, featuring beasts and the treats they love. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I'm done. Happy Halloween, everybody! Bye.